Hey Team Shuckle, what is up? Welcome back to another episode of Double Trouble. Now there hasn't been an episode of really anything in the past couple of days, and uh, that's because I have a really, really bad cold. Um, it's been pretty bad, actually. Um, I've had it since maybe about Tuesday or Wednesday. Uh, I, th I want to say like, actually no, I want to say like Sunday. Um, and it's, it was pretty, it wasn't too bad, you know, up until Wednesday night where it just sort of got really bad. And yesterday was horrible. Um, and today, which is Friday for me, was, um, wor not, not worse, but it, it, it was definitely still pretty bad. And, uh, so that's why there hasn't been many videos out for me. But, um, you know, I was feeling a little bit better now. Uh, but as I start recording, of course, I don't feel much better. Um... So I figured we'd uh, get this going. So in the interim of the videos being uploaded, few announcements to say. So first off, congratulations to Green Iroh Kex for winning the VGC tournament. Um, it went a lot smoother than I really thought it would go. Um, there were a few battles that I had to sort of uh, move along, but for the most part, you know, you guys did a great job, and um, hopefully we'll have another one soon. I might want I might want to stream. A showdown tournament at one point, but we'll we'll do we'll continue the uh, very lovely Wi-Fi tournaments. Um, so that's that's that. Uh, second thing is I will be in Philly uh, this upcoming weekend, not this weekend, the next weekend for a VGC regional tournament. So y'all should check that out, of course. Um, if you guys are going to be going there, that'd be cool. Uh, also, I should be streaming Smash on Friday night. Um, hoping, I'm hoping to. Uh, I've been out of work. I, I originally said that I was going to come in work that day, but I have been out of work a couple of days because of my illness. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't, you know, put it against them if they needed me to come in on Friday. But for right now, that is the plan. Uh, I don't know what time I'll start. I'm going to get it early in the morning, I'm going to play it as much as I can, and then I'll get some guys in, the, in a stream with me in a Skype call, and we'll, we'll play some Smash, so that'd be sort of cool. Um, that'll be sort of like a, a lead up into the weekend of the Philly Regionals. Uh, so yeah, it, it should be really cool, it should be a cool week, hopefully I feel better by then. So I'm going to hit challenge, so we can get right into this battle. I got my trusty T right here keep me from coughing up a storm because I have been and it is starting to hurt. <sighs> yeah. I've been playing a lot with a new team, which I really shouldn't be because I'm using this team at the Philly Regionals. Um, so I should really get back into the groove of using this team. Uh, but you know, I gotta say, I've been really digging the teams that I've made so far. Uh, they work really well for my playstyle and I love them. So. I am just going to see something real quick. Oh. Okay. Oh, well. Um, let's see. Uh, he's got Greninja, Gardevoir, Aerodactyl, Dragonite, Suicune, and Conkledur, and he disconnected. Alrighty, then. Oh, wait. Here we go. Give me a second, guys. <coughs> Well, that wasn't pleasant. Um, let's continue going with this. That <laughs> coughs and DCs. I wonder if he thought he can get an, uh, a virus through the computer, huh? Dude, that'd be kind of silly. Let me see, because we're doing drafting for the LB LBA. Yeah, the LBA. And. Uh... Really hoping I get my pick. It's almost my turn. It's probably gonna be my turn in the middle of this recording. But they got my pick. I want Mega Mega Metacham. I really want Mega Metacham. It's the singles lead, by the way. It's not the doubles. Uh, so this time our opponent has Polito, Ludicolo, Talonflame, Kangaskhan, Escavalier, and um, Cresselia. So it looks like it. You know, it's a standard weather team with a sort of trick room option. Um, you know, outside of the rain, Ludico is not the fastest thing in the world. Politoes are usually slower than Tyranitars in this day and age. Um, and of course, the Scapulier is such a powerhouse in, um, in Trick Room. So, you know, I mean, outside of the Cresselia, this is a decently Trick Room, tri um, 
decently VGC 14 team. Uh, but yeah, so... Oh, cool. So he didn't draft what I wanted to. Sweet. Um, eh, you know, I like the Gengar. I like the Kangaskhan lead. Uh, I'm going to want Rotom Heat, which seems like a weird choice. Actually, do I really want Rotom Heat? No, no, I got Gudra for rain. Um, well, I guess Rotom Heat would be pretty, still pretty useful, uh, especially against, you know, the Talonflame. Uh, if we can catch Scavalier outside of the rain. Uh, Thunderbolt's still going to be pretty good, as, uh, especially if we have um, Trick Room up, we will outspeed. Actually, we might not outspeed that Politoed. I don't know, we'll have to scout out to see what Politoed is. I'd, I'd be, you know, a little a little confused if it was a Scarf Politoed, because he, he does have that Trick Room option now, and that doesn't mean he's going to go for that Trick Room option. Uh, Scavalier could simply just be something that he uses to uh, sort of... I want to say, um, protect against that, uh, so, here, here's, here's one of the issues, um, Talonflame Kangaskhan leads put so much pressure on this team because th th there's so many things that they can do to me, and there's so many things that I can't really do much, uh, you know, with uh, Kangaskhan threatening his team, uh, I really do think he's gonna Mega Evolve and try to fake out the Kangaskhan. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for Trick Room with my Gengar. Uh, he does have the potential for running Quick Guard on Talonflame, so what I really do think I'm going to do is I'm going to Mega Evolve right here, and I'm going to go for Hammer Arm onto the Kangaskhan, and hopefully that is the right play. So he does Mega Evolve, which means he is most certainly not going to fake us out, which means for, at, for the very minimal of this turn, we will be able to get Trick Room off, because the barring... Barring a burn from Flare Blitz, actually no. Even if we get burned from Flare Blitz, he's got nothing to f to fake to flinch our Gengar. So we're in a very good position. Now he does go for Quick Guard here, fully expecting that uh, fake out. Um, he goes for Hammer Arm on us. Not good. Not good. Not good at all. Can we survive this? We do survive this. We are max HP, so that is good. Now the question is, will we hit ours? We don't hit ours. And we go for Trick Room. We are in such a horrible position. Well, here, here's a solid answer for this, right? What we're going to do here is we're going to go for a Disable onto the Kangaskhan. And on top of that, we are going to Protect, uh, fully expecting... Well, you know what? That Protect is pretty stupid. Uh, he's probably going to easily predict that. Um, I could switch into Ro- You know what? No, 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 Protect. I did not see that coming at all, I'll be quite honest with you. Uh, something that could have really worked out there would be- I don't know, he, he is gonna probably do that. Uh, something that really probably could have worked out fairly well in that position would have been, um, going for, um, a protect. I should have gone with my gut and gone with a protect there, uh, but I didn't, so it didn't happen. Uh, so predicting the Brave Bird onto my Gengar, I'm gonna switch out into Rotom, and I am just gonna go for the Hammer Arm just in case. I know, I know, I know, this Talonflame can kill me. Gengar outspeeds me. I mean, Kangaskhan outspeeds me. You know, I feel like I'm the only guy in the world that runs Hammer Arm Kangaskhan. Everyone and their mother runs power up punch. So here I'm, here I'm sit sitting thinking, hey, you know, I've got a pretty ooh, fire punch. That's an interesting choice. Uh, probably expect a steel type to come in there. I do have scissor, but scissor is actually not a good switch in for this combo. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring in Gudra. Now Gudra does have super effective hits onto the Talon Flame. Uh, but you know what, I think I lost this because this Kangaskhan is way too quick for me. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to Will-O-Wisp the uh, Kangaskhan, just in case, and I'm going to Thunderbolt the Talonflame. Hopefully that uh, is a good play. That Hammer Arm really f caught me off guard and I probably could have done a little bit better had I protected that first turn or hit that Hammer Arm. 
I, I really, really do believe that my hammer arm would have KO'd that thing. Um, most of them tend to not run full HP. Did I really? Did he crit me? No, he didn't crit me. Okay. I was going to say, did I really survive that? That is fan freaking tastic. Uh, so, I don't know what this Talon Flame is going for because he did, in fact, stay in. He's going to go for U turn. So, that's not too shabby. Probably expecting a. Yeah, you know, I don't really know. Probably didn't expect to live there. Probably expected a Volt Switch to the face. Probably. Can't say I know for certain. But now that we have burned this Kangaskhan. Uh, and it's nearly the end of Trick Room. We do have a chance. Uh, we do only have Gengar in the back. And at this point, I cannot afford to lose anything. I cannot afford to go for Overheat. Not that I really can with the rain. That would be sort of silly. But I do have my Gengar, who I'm going to bring in here. Um... I'm a little weary of going for any attacks with the Kangaskhan in play, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to Volt Switch the Politoed. Um, and I can either... I'm going to Protect here, because we can disable him later. If he does want to go for Sucker Punch, I can disable that. He's going to go for Fire Punch here, uh, and his Politoed does outspeed us. Uh, so that is good game right there. We really obviously if he does have uh, Sucker Punch we don't really have much for him uh, So that was unfortunate. We got destroyed by our own strategy That was Unfortunate so I, I literally have no way to win um, Actually, no that is a lie. I do have somewhat of a way to win uh, I can stall out this Kangaskhan, but that Shadow Ball, nope, that is game right there. So, oh god, my throat is not liking this at all. So we got a little unfortunate there. Um, had we protected, it probably would have been a different story. Um, or, you know, had we not missed that hammer arm, we could have probably done a little bit better. But hey, you know what, so is the nature of this game, and there's nothing to fret about. Because what is a mere loss? Not much. So I'm going to hit Battle Box, and we're going to keep going. You know, I like this team a lot. It is very lovely. But, oh, no, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. They took my pick. They took my pick. Oh, what a jerk. What a jerk. They took my pick. I am so mad. I am seeding. I'm not, I'm not really that mad. I had another pick. <laughs> I wanted to either Mega Metacham or, or Mega Pinsir. Um, so let's keep going. Charizard, Gred Ninja, Gyarados, uh, Meowstic, Mamoswine, and Hydreigon. Um, whew, this is an interesting lead. I want to lead off with Gengar simply because there are so many things out there that want to attack it and that might sound a little silly but I am really expecting a Meowstic lead now there, it is true he could start off with Charizard but usually Kangaskhan's do tend to really pressure Charizard leads because uh, Charizard can't outright one-hit KO Kangaskhan. Uh, so they usually protect the first turn and try and take out the Kangaskhan. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just sort of rely on that strategy because it has done me well. I'm going to bring Gudra. He has a lot of special things that Gudra just really walls. Um, and I think Gardevoir might actually be my, my next... Oh, not Rotom. Gardevoir might actually be one of my better choices um, and he did take my pick that is so unfortunate but I've had good experiences with Mega Pinsir so hey um, 
I like Mega Pinsir. But that's for a singles thing that you'll see in the future. So he does start off with Charizard and Meowstic. I was correct with assuming that he would start off with Meowstic. Now, here's this, this super difficult problem uh, Meowstic causes. Now, I'm going to go for Trick Room here. And um, I'm going to Mega Evolve. But I'm not going to protect. And the reason I'm not going to protect is I want to get this very lovely crunch off on this Meowstic. Now this may be really stupid, these things do run swagger. I'm fully expecting it to swagger my face. But let's be real here, outside of Gudra I do not have a safe switch in, and I'd rather not switch my Gudra in on a swagger. So we'll see how this works. I don't think Meowstics get taunt. If they do, it'd be pretty smart to taunt my Gengar. Uh, most Gengars are pretty much fully offensive. So I'm expecting either a light screen or a quick guard. That is not something I thought. I really expected a safe guard or a light screen. So he does go for the heat wave. I should survive that, no problem. Yep. I mean, there was a slight problem with that, but what are you going to say? So we get the crunch off. It does a heck of a lot of damage to that Meow Stick. Probably won't KO it. Oh wow, I really underestimated the strength of that. I need a cough. Also, notice we did move out, we did move after the Charizard, so we do have quite the pressure going on on this Charizard right now. Uh, what does he bring in? He brings in Greninja! Alright, so that actually puts me in a re actually no, that puts me in a fantastic position. I am going to disable said Charizard and go for said, ooh, hammer arm onto the Greninja. This way I don't have to waste HP and I will definitely be faster. That makes more sense. Why would I not do that? I don't know. It's super effective against Grand Ninja. He's going to go for Water Shuriken. That would actually be really annoying. All that work for nothing. No, nope, he's not going to go for Water Shuriken. So we get the uh, Disable off. I'm pretty sure he's going to go for another uh, Heat Wave. And we do get that very lovely Hammer Arm off. He is Focus Sash. But the joke's on him, we are parental bond. And I actually prefer the uh, focus sash, because now we're at negative two speed, which means we're at plus two speed in the trick room. Meaning we are uber fast. Uh, so let's see what this Charizard does. He does go for heat wave, and this is why I love this combination. Super high pressured, super powered, indiscriminate destruction. I love it. So we're going to go for Double Edge onto this Hydreigon. Um, simple reason, short and sweet freaking Hydreigon. If I miss an attack on this Hydreigon, I do die. Although, the more I think about it, the more that I realize that Double Edge probably won't take it out. So I am going to go for uh, Hammer On. And just what I didn't want to happen does happen. What the damn, damn, damn stuff is going on. But here's the good news, very good news, he is going to go for Solar Beam, he cannot go for Heat Wave, uh, we probably still have a bit, another turn left of Trick Room, we have a uh, Gudra with Thunderbolt, and a Gardevoir with Moonblast, so I am not worried in the least bit, that may have cost me that round, but that did not cost me the game, I still am in it, and I am in it to win it. Huzzah! <laughs> Huzzah! So it is 2-2, and I probably should have gone for Double Edge. Although, you know, I, I'll be quite honest with you. I do not think I would have KO'd. I'll be completely honest with you. I really don't think I would have KO'd with Double Edge. Now, I might be underestimating. I mean, Kangaskhan is quite the monster. But Hydreigons can be very bulky. So, the Charizard is going to protect, um, that is actually the least of my concerns. My biggest concern on the field right now is Hydreigon, uh, simply because, have you met Hydreigon? Hydreigon hits like a truck. Uh, although I think if, even if it's choice specs, I would have completely survived anything it shot my way outside of Draco Meteor, but it cannot go for Draco Meteor because it's choice specs. Yeah, that we know of. 
But this Charizard really has nothing for my Gudra, especially since Heat Wave is disabled. Um, it could have Dragon Pulse, but that should not take me out even even at half. I want I want to be that ballsy and say that I can take a Draco or a Dragon Pulse from a Charizard and live from health or half. Oh God, you guys can tell I'm sick, can't you? I don't know what I'm saying, uh, but I don't. Ooh, ooh bulky Zard. Fancy we meet on the battlefield. All right, well. That's that. I really probably should have tried for double edge. I'm gonna go calc that out, see if I would have survived or KO'd there. Uh, not that it mattered because I would have lost Kangaskhan anyway, but I would have been able to bring in Gudra. And it would have been a 3 0, not a 2 0. Oh well, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it, and I hope to see you guys at the next episode. Peace.